Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Maths. This is the specimen paper for 9231 Further Probability and Statistics for the 2020 exam series, question 1. Requirement A, state briefly the circumstances under which a non-parametric test of significance should be used rather than a parametric test. Here I've posted two options, underlying distribution unknown or normal distribution of population cannot be assumed. Either of these is correct for requirement A. The level of pollution in a river was measured at 12 randomly chosen locations. The results in suitable units are shown below where higher values represent greater pollution. Requirement B, use a Wilcoxon signed rank test to test whether the average pollution level in the river is more than 6.00. Use a 5% significance level. I will begin by identifying the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis is the average pollution is 6.00. The null hypothesis, the average pollution is greater than 6.00. The average that we're working with is given 6.00. Now for each of the 12 measurements I'm given, I want to calculate the magnitude of the difference from the mean, the proposed mean of 6.00. And I'll calculate for each of the 12 values the absolute value of the delta, the difference between the proposed mean and the measurement. Beginning with 5.62, the difference absolute value from 6 is 0 0.38. And I'll work my way down to calculate all 12 absolute value differences. And here are my 12 values. Now I'm going to rank based on sign. Some will be positive sign, and some will be negative sign. And I'll work my way down and put signs next to each of the values that I've calculated. The 0 0.38 is the result of a value smaller than the mean, so I will mark with a negative. The next value also negative. The third value, 6.55, is greater than the mean. I'll mark with a positive and ongoing till I've signed all 12 of my values. And now I will rank from smallest to largest absolute value difference and identify by column whether the difference before adjusting for absolute value was positive or negative. So scanning down, I see that the smallest difference is 0 0.09. That's in, that is a negative notation. So across from 0 0.09 in the negative column, I'll write the number 1. That difference, the smallest absolute value difference, has a ranking of 1. It relates to a value less than the mean, so I'm putting that in the negative column. Moving on, I see a 0 0.10. That's the next largest difference in absolute value terms. The notation is positive, so that was relating to a measurement greater than the mean. So I'll put for that difference a ranking of 2 in the positive column, and I'm going to work my way through all 12 values in the same manner. At this point, I have numbered 1 through 12, the differences based on absolute value from small to large, and I've categorized by column whether based on whether the original value was greater than or less than the mean. So notice in the positive column, I have the first three values, 10, 11, and 2. If I look to the left, I see those three have positive. That's why I've put them in the positive column. Looking over at the negative column, the first two values are 8 and 7. If you look to the left, you'll see that those differences have the negative sign. That's why I've put those two in the negative column. And that's how the classification works for all 12 values. Now I want to sum each column. I don't have room at the bottom of the column on my board, so over on the right, I'll post positive, negative. The sum for the positive column is 50, 
and the sum for the negative column is 28. As an optional check, I can use, I'm using 12 measurements. If I use 12 times 12 plus 1, okay, the 12 is coming from the number of measurements I'm working with, and I divide by 2, the value I get is 78. And that's a confirmation because if I add the 50 and the 28, the result is also 78. So let me put that in a bracket. That's not part of the requirement, but that confirms for me that I have reasonable totals for each column. From here, I'll identify my test statistic as the minimum of the two totals that I've calculated, 50 and 28, and that minimum is 28. Now I'll look up my critical value and in the Wilcoxon table, the measurements that I'm working with are 0 0.05, representing the significance level, and 12, representing the number of measurements. The lookup gives me a value of 17, and my comparison is between the test statistic of 28, the critical value of 17, 28 is greater than 17. In this test, the conclusion or the result is that we do not reject the null hypothesis. What does that mean? That means insufficient evidence that median pollution is greater than 6.00. And this completes the requirements for question one.